Harper wants to keep running. The side will put it down, but it only takes the Agassi model VP. Tight Hunter, he's hoping to make some big plays, steal some ravages. Always fun. I mean, you talk about what's fun to see. Uh, Tide versus Rubik is a lot of fun. This guy says no fun allowed. Anti mage. Yeah. Wow. No it fun. It is pretty good anti mage game. Usually, the one thing AM doesn't want to play into is a lot of physical damage. Game looking pretty good for the anti mage so far. Ooh, I'm oh, okay. Yeah, that's the first blood. Almost I'm missed it, but started. still got it. He wants another kill. Yeah. Maybe I think it's gonna be enough damage. Ballet Strides already comes out. A one hit. Maybe a jump. Oh, perfect by DB. The way that he played Monkey to show us how many games he played this hero. Mentioned you played a lot of Spectre before. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Middle lane. Azura being chased by Jonas inside the tower. That was a great solo kill. He knows that he's not gonna make it, so he let. He was like, uh, he still has like a 10% HP left after that mana void. Bottom lane, they wanna kill Marb. Yeah, big fight, Marb. Oh my goodness, that was a big kill. I'm watching at the top lane because there's there's some action around here as well. Three people on team IAP aiming for position. One Monkey King at least. Marb killing three broken as well by Escort and Cosmatch. Top lane, they're seeking for revenge. Only Lim stay behind the top tier one tower. They're gonna dive in. You wanna need to be careful. Yes, you can kill, but you need to get away from that alive as well. Oh, oh, fire him! That, do you see that green ball from that Rubik and Sim? Something, oh, that was so close, man. Ooh. It was uh, AG gained in the first 10 minutes. Right now, anti got more free freedom. Farming in oh, a they're triangle. gonna try to kill him. Can they? X first, maybe? Everything? First fight? Yes, they can. Mark's still not that strong. Well, here. playing super brave here. He, he almost on the front line uh, being a support there. It's all a uh, my game. Warm me into a three line. Gonna go down, killing three by Yona. After he flipped. Yep. Definitely not an easy hero to go on. And IAP, they're poking around. I was about to say, surely they're not going rogue. I think they can. Start with a rogue. Oh. And also dissimulate these damage comes out. Matthew Kimo on spawn gone. And this is a perfect opportunity for Team Army Genesis to get the first agents of the game if they can. Little here, but both teams kind of playing around that Roshan pit, knowing that we're kind of at that point where if someone wins a team fight, they can go into rogue. What's I'm talking about? Another East where it works like magic, man. Right now, dealing the decent damage, even though it doesn't have a rabbit, but no problem. Two down real quick, the two supports gone. I mean, Genesis, they only have a core, but a core without a support, no assist, no help. It's going to be nothing. That's the reason why Asura just leave the scene immediately. Oh, crazy. Now they are grouping up. Oh, smoke Both and smoke. Side, smoke. Four man is gonna be big, big. Oh, a rabbit! Oh. Oh, yeah. Only one, which is a pangolier, might be worth it though. The way that they started, maybe cause of oh, the BKB out as well. Yeah, copy Pesarina using the rabbit back. Uh, Lim trying so hard to just make his team alive in his team fight, but he was the first one who falls out. Finally, Wu Kong command is out. Uh, my name is Kong. Wu Kong. And then yes, Mark is out. The DB finish him off with a morning but six kisses from the higher ground. Army um, Genesis try to retreat back to the uh, mid tier to tower, getting stopped by Yona from long range using slide of face and the searing chain. Earth Spy comes out, that was a mini rabbit. Watch Bucko by Womi, but just not enough to kill anyone. It seems like it's going to be a comeback fight for Team Army Genesis after a big loss of Team IAP. Triple kill for Asura. And just some key item timings. The Aghanim's coming up on Azura, and now he's already got a BKB to fold up. Monkey King getting more damage. Start to fight once again, come on man, this is a, this grand kind of shooting from the long range once again, Modimus Kisses is the main source of damage of Team IAP, but not for so long. They lost Escort pretty fast. I kind of surprised with the way that Escort uh, changed to be better in this situation. Um, I mean, most of it has just come down to the fights his team have chosen. Oh, a like big Ravage, Ravage comes out, and then the team up with the Monument Kisses, they killed that Azura real fast with no buyback, so he next kind of come back and help his team, and another Ravage, refresh a Ravage, they killed that Varys, this might be the time that they turned around, IAP trying to chase, and the Agon Inceptor used in every single bit, it's worth it. Man, did you see how far they can chase? 
dancer. It, it's not that easy to catch a Void Spirit, and they are about to show us how easy they can catch a Void Spirit with the Rolling Thunder in, jumping in for that Monkey King, and turn the BKB yeah. team on attacking, about to do the Violet Smash. Wire is actually the first one who goes down. He bought back right away. Lion back to the scene. They need all the Earth Spice Ooh. and all the mini things from that Lion. Still got a buyback though for two calls of Team Army Genesis, so I don't think it will end right here. Play down, yep. dealing the decent damage. So they might have to do something with that. But I am yep. not sure if that's going to be too late because if IAP now starts striking on the second set of racks, a Army Genesis need to defend. Going in, uh, trying to set up with the Duke Scepter, follow up with the other Spike though. But hey, moving in for Jonathan, the BKB, no buyback for Barry, he just did it! The first Ravage already comes up, but it was a great dodge by Asura, but I wonder if they can defend that second set rack. This rack is pretty crucial. They go in for the Rolling Thunder and everything, turn the BKB for that boy spirit, but he was locked in the soul bind. Attacking, Blink attacking, rabbit. attacking, fighting for the toe time, and the second Ravage comes up, perfect positioning, no buyback! Hold it. And it's going to be the second set of rack, of course, uh, turn the Wukong command, they're trying to defend the uh, range rack with the buyback of that Rubik, still keep in place for Voice Spirit, still in the graveyard, and now he being fought to do the buyback because his teammate being pushed into the mid-tier 4 tower, they slash that Rubik down, no buyback, only two beats of four, can they do it? Asura trying to force the enemy away! Got that Monkey King, but still, he still can buy back, but no need, it's a GG call from Team Army Genesis, IAP took game one. For the game to start. This, this is one of the best lineup that I have seen IAP picked in this tournament. Yeah. It's solid. I, it's it doesn't have any big weaknesses. And what will Army Geniuses get? PA. Oh. That's the other carry I had on my mind. I saw this Lena come out. I'm like, okay, troll may be Dang. less good, but PA, you can jump the back lines. Also need to be careful. That's what I'm talking about. Going straight in at IAP. It's got ball. Entry battle, as mentioned earlier, it can make the lane. Yes. It just changes so much of the lane. And now the PA level 3, you've got Orb of Venom. Oh, look at in the middle lane. It's going to be a fatal fight between the two. Asura noticed he's not going to make it, so he just decided to leave he's it halfway. <laughs> it was so close on blink, top, blink, back blink as well. Blink. Matthew, oh, Matthew this, gets slashed. Oh, my God. That wasn't too oh. Bad lane. And meanwhile, on top, another action they're aiming for Ed Scott. Once he's. Oh, he popped the um, magic one and then he gained all the HP back. Varys, he might have to sacrifice his life for that. Varys got the way! Got the way! It's not just gonna go into the creep wave against the, the PA, even though they are on a uh, 1v1 situation. Yeah. This is maybe the problem with the tiny supporters. It's a pretty weak lane. They are gonna TP the Lena in top. Astro. Yona, he's gonna haste her, he wants his kill. Yeah, with a blade, is that gonna be enough to kill DB? He's trying so hard to stay. Oh, Sonic Web in the face! Tower as well. Okay, maybe that's the reason why they start a fight on top. This is gonna be the first big team fight with an arrow hit on that Lena, stop him from doing anything. DB, the first one who be taken down by IAP, doing a, such a very good job, and all of them stuck in Arena of Blood, and I don't think they will go out alive. I think Lim doing slightly better than the other two from the IAP side in terms of farming. And right now, the uh, hit smoke led to some kills on Enscott. That's a big. But I don't think that's the Kunkus job. I feel like that's more the Lena's job. I wouldn't have minded Yona on Lena going through to travel though. All right, Kimo turns the Exorcism and is going to dive into the mid one tower, setting up Arena of Blood Tower. Is shooting, shooting on who? Shooting on Matthew, tanking all the damage as a tiny and perfect for them. It's a trade though. Kimo is out, Varys is out as well. It's a trade as a support, and so many skills and ultimates has been used. Escort. Using the Astro Prismen on the attack. In a pain BKB. Usually it's been this Sanjin Kaya build, but against this draft. Oh, current mid. They caught Barris. Down that Barris. But this is a good thing of having a Weaver as a, as a support because he is so hard to kill. Setting up Arena of Blood, look at the blade, finally kill that Rasha Barris. Sonic Way pushing in. Matthew still there. Finally, he goes down because of the buck of Barris. It's a trade. The two supports die. 4v4 Exorcism still alive. Kimo, does he want to go back in again? Mid lane. Okay. It looks like Air Scar is going to run away from all the bucks and stuck in uh, Spears of March. 
Barris got him. And it's too easy. Kills on top. Army Genesis got everything under. Well, they're all doing a big smoke. This is my turn. Things around though. Here we go. Meet Arena. And everything is aimed on that Kunkka. Nice save by using Astro Prism. And he's going to be back. He seems super healthy for that mob, but he just keeps turning his back on everything and then he died without doing a single damage. The race needs to retreat. Kimo doing some Spirit Siphon, saving his teammate. He sacrificed himself staying in the middle of the fight and he will go down. That in, well, in the end, he played like seven or eight match in a row, base of one, just to play in the base of three in the last match of the day. And shit, turn the BKB, send up Arena of Blood. First one gonna go down is the yeah, Outworld Destroyer. He's, he's still alive though. And oh, he jumped out. away. He's out, yeah. But it was Matthew in the state. Fall. Four versus five. Death Prophet's dead. They smoke up. Get the high ground ward. Tiny with the initiation because of that what he put down. Like great plays from Matthew to make that call. And they smoke again. They want to yeah. go make another move. They catch one more. They see Azura. Oh. oh man, the timing was just not right, and Warby yeah. moving in, punish them immediately with the Arena of Blood combined with the Sonic Wave, getting punished in the worst way possible. Oh. It's about to toss, they need to change some people, and if you Astro, you let him BKB. They now want the this Weaver? The toss, they the they're trying to go no. for the Weaver, can they get that Warby down? But he was so tanky with all the chills and spell, 300 Titans. Ooh. Oh Mark? my, Wormy finally falls! Atrua is still slashing people as usual. Yona walking away with a very high speed, need to turn the BKB and to be safe from all the spell, but not gonna be safe from all the invisible attack. He is dead eventually with no buyback. Yeah, once they... Meanwhile, the fight about to happen in the middle lane. Uh, Matthew didn't know that somebody is there using the Phantom Knight in the piece of damage. Matthew is walking away. The first support gone real quick. The second support gone. After the DB with the Phantom Dice dealing the uh, strong damage. Need to be careful when oh, DB okay. got jumped in with Arena of Blood. It's out. Uh, DB first life gone real quick. That seems to be a good sign for Team IAP. If they can kill the DB, dropping all the ultimate, he's stumping away. Where is he? He's still in the middle. Drain all the HP back with all the critical damage. Fighting at the mid tier 4 towers. Standing still. Bye back. And now they are forcing back out of the base for Team Army Genesis. They might retreat all safe. But Team IAP oh. managed to defend on this one. Chemo still on the XR system. I mean, kind of have to. You lose your ace. You've got to get that BKB in right away. It's going to go for round two, man. And now they're yeah. striking on the barracks. They know that there is no exorcism. Fan of Nice already comes out. They're going super aggressive in front of the tier four. Bomi finish it off. And they oh, have to arrow. do the yeah. Astro and Prism Man in order to stop the PA from moving forward. They still have to buy back on that Kanga. He needs to buy out right away. Kimo is out. PA is unstoppable. He is a Terminator. He touched everything. It's gold. It's minus spot back. In order to slow the group of them, can they kill the PA first? They still not get the barracks. Keep that in mind. Objective is not done yet. Ooh, Ooh one splash. Got one support down. X minus spot and drop all the metal or hammer. Can they kill the PA? But from the scene, DB dumping away. Another Titanic moving in. Walking away. Asura dropping so low though. Oh, but DB destroy all the dreams. Down bottom, Womi. Has to BKB. Yeah, I think Bomi not. Oh, okay. Thank you. Then I thought. Yeah, back. Gonna get X minus spot back, back up. into the ghost ship, but he's still there. With the Sonic Wave, his teammate moving in to save him. him. This problem. I mean, if they lose Ooh. even one guy, that's gonna be a big damage to Team IAP. He up and also the Exor system. Kimo getting slashed. Kimo gone real fast. Wormy using Arena of Blood in order to block uh, somebody come out from the bound. But it won't be for long. Yeah. They're just throwing out time lapses for fun. PA just being pulled around by Varus and Avalanche is like somebody just gonna go down. Being thrown inside the bound. Fan of Nice. It's so good to see <laughs> the PA play. And that yeah. is it, ladies and gentlemen. Army Genesis. Tie the series 1-1. One, one. We are going to game number three. Carry because you can put the ink swell on them when they go, you know, charging in, jumping Wraith in. Wraith King, you think? It, it oh, would be good, but it's banned. Yeah, uh, I, I like Wraith King. Um, 
Medusa. Ooh. Well, they get they get the you you're probably not happy Just with like, this one, Zyklops. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, they had all the push and then I was being like, yeah, all good, man. Not saying. Yeah. <laughs> oh, on top remember... lane. Yes, that's Ooh. gonna be the first blood. We got that one Bye. right on the spot. Nice. Three rims, you know. <laughs> So I just, you know, I just aimed at the one in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy for you, really. And uh, hey, yeah. that's, that's, that's disaster. Uh, on top. Okay, yep. Yep. Stroll dropping quite low yes. though, but however, I think s going to get some kill on the report. Good one. They strike it back, but however, DB just get something out of that. Things, troubles for Chemo at the bottom lane as well. And meanwhile, Arena, though, first time using Utah. Arena of Blood, Marv. Stuck in there, and this is the first time Azura uh, teleported from the mid lane and trying to gang on the right hand side of the map. And uh, he's just gonna die. Yeah, yes. we had a mod. Pull from Batrider to come in and help out. Alright, uh, yes, they realized that DP would be a hard target, so they decided to go for the support first. But however, Azura teleported, not teleported, just moving from the mid lane to help on top, and that's gonna be a trade. Definitely, Escort not gonna make it. He might have to trade his life with the support, which is not worth it. From three to three, scout it out for his teammates, and uh, find some perfect angle for his teammate to go in. Being the uh, living ward, Yona, Bat Rider teaming up with the Inkswell so trying deep. to catch somebody. DB gonna get dragged in for the first time in this one, but I don't think the damage would be enough. DB might turn things around. He might jumping in. Fire Remnant to the high ground, slashing Yona down, killing three for Asura, getting tips as well. Oh my goodness, Matthew gonna fall. Oh, I top have, lane, yeah. Yeah. Oh, they kill Escort as well, and Matthew dies. AG might looking fallen. for a Radiant's counter. Jumping in, spear some mass back into the frozen. Uh, easy um, kill against Matthew. My people died for nothing. Yep. What's the opposite of Regis? I'm trying to TP out. Yeah, Scott in his jungle has to be a little bit careful. Gets the roar out onto Monkey, but oh. he's now being put in the arena. Right after the roar, he was locked down in. And fire rip dancing. Ember's gonna finish him off. Asura. Sure. Now with Bat Rider BKB, IAP, I don't want to fight. They're sending in the break break first. first. The Aiming for the support, uh, need to run away for the Crystal Maid, and that's not a good place to fight. And now being dragged in, two of them. Oh my goodness, first one for is going to be Varys, and also Mars. Wall me, double Q for Yona. Oh, oh. my goodness. Aiming for her. Yep. Um, Scott. Self is good, but the MKB means the PA just becomes such of a less of a threat. Oh, I mean, a blood, a Matthew being brought down, won't be strike back on Escort. It's oh, two for Team IP. About to be three team more, yeah. oh. There were so many times that the uh, parade of the. Us. Passing Napalm can be just, you don't have time to do it when you're running in trying to lasso people. So yeah, mostly it's just the double flame break and being able to kind of reposition people. Hmm. Alright, they are diving in. It seems like they found Beastmaster Asura slashing one body at the bottom lane. He's gonna be out real fine. And, oh, they lost um, two guys in a row in a tie. Gonna be big, big fight. Are you guys ready? If you are ready, put your hands in the air before the fight happens. Mark moving in, being stopped first. Bad Rider died by the what stop and searing chains and a lot of the damage comes out. But look at that Medusa, he's shooting like a goddamn AK-47. You can't stop the damage output from Medusa. Uh, they try so hard to stop Medusa, but look at that. But the rest of Team oh, IAP. I just melted in all the hellfire. They want to steal this Roshan. They've got a Hawk giving them vision. They can. Jumping in on the higher ground on the BKB and setting up Arena. Oh, Medusa is still doing a pretty decent damage as usual. But hey, using the armor to block though. Warmi was stunned. I used to be a Spartan warrior. Now I become a stoner in front of the stone gates. Being chased down by the Wukong command, Ma try to throw it back to the higher ground. They're just gonna charge in, they need to be careful as well, but Wormy seems to have all the damage for his teammate. He was there, he was so brave, and here he got shot down by the illusions of Medusa. Asura is got like nice time to clear all the backline, and Asura turns to go in. 
Turn the flame card. Man, the take turn going in fighting with this Medusa. Medusa is king. And now he is shooting everyone in front of the tier 4. He's staying alive, but now running out of mana. He knows that his time is out. Uh, that he is out for 90 seconds. Man, this is so painful to watch. They are so close. They are at the edge of the elimination of this league. Arena of Blood is probably going to be the last arena that they ever experienced in the DPC. They're trying to fall back to the mountain to just gain some HP and go back to fight. That would be no easy GG coming out from the team for sure. They are going to fight until the last bit with their honor. Yona forcing everyone away. And Army Genesis. Defense is very important at this stage of the game. So, who are they gonna send into the front line? How are they gonna start the fight? Who are they gonna initiate on? It's very important. Jonathan BKB, but that is a very good BKB poke by DB. Lock everyone down, down the arena of blood. A very good elite arena. Everyone is in there. This is just like a town hall for everyone. And Asura is clearing all the back line, forcing everyone going back to the base. No buyback for most of them. Wukong Command GT has been called. Team. Oh. Army Genesis survive for another day. But this is not the end. Uh, I mean, not the safe spot for them. They just right.